Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this episode, I will give you some basic tips when arriving in the Philippines. Whether you are a tourist or an overseas Filipino worker going for a holiday, you need to remember and prepare these things. Let's go! At least 72 hours before your flight to the Philippines, you need to go to etravel.gov.ph and fill up your information. This is a requirement whether you are an OFW or a tourist arriving and going out of the Philippines. You also need to make sure that your passport is not expiring within 6 months upon arrival. For transportation services, still the best option is if you have your family or friends picking you up at the airport. There is a pay parking area in the airport just in front of the arrival area. If you don't have any friends or families that can pick you up at the airport, I would not suggest you to take a public taxi. Not all but some of them are overpriced and scammers. You can buy a Philippine SIM card when you are in the arrival area of the airport for less than one US dollar. For tourists, it is valid for 30 days and if you are an overseas Filipino worker, you can register it using your valid ID and activate the roaming so you can still use it even if you are in or outside the Philippines. Once your Philippine SIM card is already activated, you can load some money so you don't have to bring a lot of cash when you travel the Philippines. Next is download GCash app or PayMaya app. You can use it as a digital wallet so you can order food, you can book a taxi, and pay your groceries in the supermarket. It's very convenient and safe so you don't have to bring a lot of cash when you're traveling in the Philippines. You can also download a GrabCar app so you can book a taxi. It's very easy, safe, and convenient. You just need to enter your location, where you are going, and you can see the rate and the details of the driver. You can also make an advanced booking so you can schedule and make plan for your next travel. Just outside the arrival area of the airport, you can see a grab counter. You can make an over-the-counter booking. But still, the more convenient way is booking through an app so you don't have to line up in the queue. If ever there's no available grab car, you can also check out the Philippine Airport Taxi. They are color yellow lined up also in the arrival area. It is also safe and convenient. They register every trip with the passenger and the driver details. It is a metered taxi so the rate will depend on how many kilometers is your destination. Destination. You can also download an app called Joyride Super App. This is similar to GrabCar. At least you have an option so you can compare prices and rates and you can check which is more and readily available in your area. There is also another option for transportation services. If you don't have a big baggage and you want to skip traffic, you can actually try the motorcycle taxi services. You can download Ancas, Move It, and Joyride Super app for motorcycle services. To be able to book and ride the motorcycle taxi from arrival area of the airport, you need to go up to the departure area. You can also book a rent -a car service online, self-drive, or with driver. Just double check the legitimacy of the company to avoid scammers and overpricing. For ordering food online, you can download Grab Food and Food Panda app. This these are very convenient app for ordering food wherever you are and you can choose cash on delivery or pay online. Whether you are driving your own car or rent a car service with driver or self-drive, you need to make sure that you have AutoSweep RFID and EasyTrip RFID so you have access to any of the toll gates and expressway in the Philippines. You can go South Expressway or North Expressway without any hassle. You just need to load it through online digital wallet using Gcash and PayMaya app. Coming from Manila International Airport, you can use Skyway going to Naiya Exit. You have access to go to South Luzon Expressway or North Luzon Expressway if you want to escape the traffic of Manila. Aside from that, you should all be set and enjoy your vacation. Philippines is composed of 7,641 islands, so I bet that 30 days is even not enough to go for vacation. Anyway, enjoy your vacation in the Philippines and mabuhay. If you have some comments or suggestions, just leave it at the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hanggang sa muli, mga tropa. Ride safe.